I often work on effects projects that require numerous chromas and composites, and I have produced a number of tutorial films on the best way to achieve industry standard keys. But chroma keying is not always the best procedure when shooting effects materials. This is the video assist of an ad that required a couple to be situated in an expensive penthouse restaurant just after sunset. If I shot this on location, I would have maybe 30 minutes of shooting time, so I decided to shoot in the studio using rear screen projection. The reason you are looking at the video assist rather than the finished material is because I wanted to show that with the rear screen process, you can see what you are shooting, and that is a great advantage. It's still considered a composite, and all the work on the background plates have to be done prior to shoot, but when you shoot, you can see what you're getting. We, we should order a stun. Before data production, the rear screen process took a lot of specialized equipment and years of experience. This is probably why it became an almost forgotten technique. But nowadays, it's actually quite simple. For this setup, we just used a consumer projector and a shower curtain stretched over a wooden frame. What is required is a data projector, a rear screen, a camera, and your foreground set and actors. By moving the actors away from the screen, you can control the depth of field. You can also control the focal depth by defocusing the projector. It is also possible to dolly the camera to create the illusion of depth using parallax and occlusion. The further the talents are from the screen, the greater the parallax. You will have to match the light on your subjects with the value of the light coming from the window. I usually light my foregrounds with 50 to 150 watt lights. The lower your foreground light is, the brighter your rear screen will appear. In this OTS close-up, you can see the rear screen in the top left corner looking very much like the view from a window. I would have had a hard time making a composite look as soft and real as this does. When I change lens from 25mm to 50mm, the focal plane and focal depth on the view out of the window changed accordingly. This makes for a more realistic photographic sense of depth. I also put glass in my window frames. This reflects an image of the action, again adding to the realism. In this setup, I added reflections of lights that appeared to be coming from inside. This gave the room an added sense of depth. There was none, of course, it was all an illusion. The entire restaurant was made up of everything that you can see on the frame right now. We, we should order a stun. Here's another window shot from a different project. This is also rear screen. One limitation is that you have to cover the point where the screen touches the studio floor with something opaque in your set, or the game is given away. In the restaurant board, I used the table, and a wooden board painted black slipped behind it. I shot the cityscape using a Canon 60D, mainly for its small size and good light sensitivity. I had to wait longer than I expected for people to turn on their lights inside the buildings, so the ambient light got darker than I wanted. This was remedied by pushing the material in grading before projecting. The Canon material stood up well, and the grain that appeared with the push will be lost in the shallow depth of field. The screen got darker again during the shoot as I stopped down slightly to accommodate for the table lights. I used another rear screen on this ad. The guy was impressing the girl with information about French films that he was streaming on his phone. I wanted to produce a Casablanca looking movie from the 40s. The real Casablanca is awash with rear screens, so I made the film also using rear screen. I shot a still of an old freight plane at the local airport, projected it, shot my foreground with noir lighting, applied film scratches and sparkle, and fed it straight to the phone. We also shot this composite live. Rear screen can be a practical alternative to chroma keying. It is also good to have multiple options when approaching a shoot. I hope this film will be useful to you when choosing a process for your next effects project. J'aime beaucoup cet endroit. Oui?